Ligers, Tigons, and Growler Bears. What the what? Hey everybody, Trace here for D News with some great and fun tales of animal crossbreeding. This week, the BBC did a story about a new baby geep born in Ireland. It's an adorably adorable cross between a sheep and a goat, or really a goat and a sheep. It turns out this goat got a little frisky with one of the ewes, which is a female sheep, and boom! The cutest crossbreed ever. Crossbreeding isn't all that crazy. It can happen between any two chromosomally compatible organisms. In this case, the goat and the sheep are similar organisms in the family Bovidae, which includes cattle, ox, buffalo, bison, gazelles, a lot of different animals. Chances are, they share a common ancestor way back in history, but separated based on geography over time. Now that we've domesticated all these, they share the same farm and sometimes bam chicka wow wow, they get a little freaky. Crossbreeding can be done on purpose or on accident. Mules are an excellent example of natural crossbreeds. Horses are native to Europe and donkeys to Africa, but they can crossbreed. When a male donkey and a female horse get together, they produce a mule. Mules are sterile, which is a common problem in all crossbreeding, but they're stronger than horses and in a smaller size, so they're relatively common for work animals. Crossbreeding has a standard naming convention, by the way. The male animal gets the first half of the name, and the female animal gets the second half of the name. One of the more internet famous crossbreeds are ligers the mating of a male lion and female tigress, and the tigon, which is male tiger, female lion, get it? In the wild, lions and tigers wouldn't naturally meet because tigers are native to Southeast Asia and lions to Africa and the Middle East. However, they share a common ancestor, so mating is possible. A lot of modern crossbreeding happens because humans have squeezed habitats closer together or moved animals into zoos. At a zoo in Germany, the Groller bear was bred, which is a cross between the brown bear and the the polar bear. The baby bears had long necks and tails like the polar, but their paws were only half as hairy because brown bears don't have hairy paws. These strange crossbreeds don't just happen in land animals. The wolfin is a cross between a false killer whale, which by the way is not the same as an orca, and a bottlenose dolphin. They exist in the wild and were first described in 1846. A wolfin born in captivity in 1985 is actually not sterile, which is pretty rare, though it's only birthed two calves that survived. Unfortunately, crossbreeding can go horribly wrong. But since each animal has evolved with their own genetic strengths and weaknesses over time, a mix between some of these animals can have huge genetic problems. For example, a liger baby is too big for the smaller stature of the tigress, so the cub has to be delivered almost exclusively by C-section. And if it survives, it will probably die young from genetic deformities arising from that crossbreed. The scariest of all crossbreeds, hands down, human Zs. They've never been created, thank goodness, but theoretically it's possible because chimps and humans share 98 to 99% of their DNA. The hybrid would be an ethical dilemma to say the least and probably have traits of both species and would be super scary. Don't do it. What is the best hybrid ever though? Tell us your thoughts and why down below and subscribe for more D News every single day of the week.